Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. I want to say thank you for trusting me to read for you. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. I'll leave, well, I'll, yeah, I'll leave the announcements for the end, okay? So this week, let's see what's going on for you this week. You have the Emperor, you showing up in your own reading. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles and the Tower, okay? So... There could be a masculine energy here who could be already married or in a commitment or has a family that they already established. This is an older gentleman. This could be you, Aries, coming up if you are um, more masculine or if you are a man. This could be you. There is... Some of you are in a relationship with somebody who's already married. They've already established their home, their family. Their stability is there. But there's something happening within this dynamic, this relationship. Um, I don't know if, if this person is getting found out or you're getting found out, Aries. There's um, something that always happens within this dynamic. Either for you or for the other person that you're with. This thing this event that uh spontaneously happens um has historical value here meaning it's it has already happened either with another person you and this person it's already happened here um you could be dealing with a scorpio you don't have to be um There's an event that shifts the energy and it brings this whole falsehood down. Now, it could be with you and this married person or you're the married person or the both of you are married. Something is, is shifting the energy here within relationships, sexual relationship. There has been a level of intimacy um experience between the two of you someone is realizing either someone's realizing that you're the person for them you're the one that they want longevity with or if there's already a married individual there's someone who's realizing that maybe this this marriage this connection this family i'm over it um it was built on falsehood and it's got to be broken down it, something has to change some shift has to be made. I have to come out of some cycle here. The advice for you, Aries, this week is the Ten of Wands, the Fool, and the Hierophant. Okay, so you need to... Some of you, it might be that you're leaving behind some married person or some individual here. Um, or or for some of you, if, if you're single, the other person is single, you're going to drop the ego, drop the act drop the, the the burden that you've been carrying in regards to other men or masculine energy or um, long-term goal fulfillment not being realized within dynamics within relationships maybe within yourself you're going to shift that energy and drop that um and then you're going to start over you're going to say you know what this is new N new with this person or this is new for me i'm going in a new direction um, there's new insight here. I want to take the leap of faith. Because this is um, good for me. This is a person of like mind uh, as myself. There could be a level of... Um, establishment here with this person like you could be married to this person you see that they see it but there's been um something's been holding you back you've been holding yourself back 
because of this unnecessary carried burden here. It says, this is something new. This is something traditional. This is something long-term. This is something of, of great value. This person could ground you in some, some respect. This could be a Taurus person. It could be an Aries or a Gemini, even an Aquarius. For some of you, if you are dealing with someone who is married, you, you might just decide to. I'm here and drop the act, cut the act with them. You're going to go in your own direction and you're going to find a lot of, um, you're going to start getting around like-minded individuals that want the same thing as you. Maybe single individuals, someone who's ready to partner. Um, you're going to get a hobby or a regimen that you do to help yourself stay busy, active, and productive and not think about an old old way of existing or doing um you can get some some regimen about yourself to where you um some of you going to decide to exercise more that's the advice here for you someone has some aha moment in regards to a relationship a marriage maybe even business how they now are coming off as um, being enlightened, understanding that something that was built on falsehood and, and, and has to be torn down. This could be you, Aries. This could be the other person. Um, I don't... There's a relationship that was probably destined to happen so that someone else could tear down the tower that they built in their mind, around themselves, in their life that stability only comes from you bring you fill in the blank something about someone accepting something that i'm hearing that could be untraditional taking the leap of faith you could be i'm hearing sister wife i don't know some of you could be um accepting the fact that you're the other woman or you will be the other woman. Maybe the, the, the main woman, I don't know, knows about you. Let's see what the advice here. You have a no and unlikely. For some of you, it's just going to be unlikely that this person moves out of this commitment. Um, and it's time for you to kind of lay this to rest. Go in a new direction. Find some. Join in. Join in with some like-minded people that can bring you enlightenment. Um, get that clarity. Uh, speak to a, a counselor, a pastor, whomever that can give you some insight, clarity about Romantic relationships, love affairs, the drama that they bring or that you involve yourself with. It's the advice for some of you is take the leap of faith in a new direction. For those who are dealing with someone who is single and you're single also, um, you got to let this chip on your shoulder, this burden that you've been carrying around in regards to maybe masculine energy men or how things don't always turn out your way you have to turn you have to really release that Re release the aggressiveness also go go in a new direction get around it some get around other women or men that are married that you want to be i guess when we're off of um uh quarantine uh Get around individuals that have what it is you're seeking. Because it looks like for some of you, the choice is, do I stay in this relationship, this marriage? Or do I go elsewhere? what do i choose you're a bit confused it's um a choice that you have to make
some of you are seeing the manifestation work that you've done in regards to relationship and marriage. You're seeing it come to you. You're seeing that everyone is like this one person is everything that you you wanted in a person. But there's blockage here that's not allowing you to actually fall in love. Some of you are just dealing with an unfaithful, you have an unfaithful spouse or you are the unfaithful spouse. You're dealing with someone who says things just just because they make promises that they, they don't make good on any of them. Once again, dealing with someone who says things, you know, and does, you know, yeah, says things, make, just making promises that they know they have no intention of keeping. But they want to keep you in the loop. You may even be what this person prayed for. Manifest into their life. But they're carrying some burden here. You, you have to become more grounded. Come out of fantasy land. For some of you, in, in regards to another person, what you what you want to happen, and not seeing the the um, reality of the situation, someone does a lot of stuff and says a lot of stuff and creates this big illusion that you guys are going to be together and you're the one for them, and you know, on and on, and you, they go on and on, and then you live in that, you live in those words in that illusion and it's just not real someone it could be very childish or they exude childish behavior like they just don't know how to this is a person that needs to grow up Aries, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Uh, all readings, all phone readings are 50% off, okay? 50% off phone readings. If you don't see it on the website, send me, shoot me a quick email and uh, we can get it all situated for you. 50% off phone readings, okay? You can either have a choice of me calling you or you calling me, okay? 50% off phone readings. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you. Remember, you can now, you can text again, text a question or 10 to the number below. Receive the answer to your question via uh, text message also. Pay for your question on your mobile device. It just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.